Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In today's episode, we are going to see how to jailbreak iPhone or iPad that is running iOS 13.5 with the help of Uncover Jailbreak tool, which is released recently after the release of iOS 13.5. So the current version of Uncover is 5.0 and it is strongly recommended to download it only from uncover.dev, which is the official website. I will leave a link to all the websites and repositories that I will be discussing in this video in the description of this video. Uh, so the thing is uh, before proceeding with the tutorial the step by step process i must to tell you it will take around 10 to 11 steps uh, the reason that we have that many steps is mainly because to make this jailbreak uh, you know the manual process to be automated by installing certain repositories and you know by making them sign automatically um, several other process involved i will explain that when that particular steps come and mostly two types of people watch this video number one an absolute beginner who have no idea about jailbreak break so for you the simple explanation i could give you is like it it will help you to install third party customizations and uh, you know the applications that is not approved by the app store and uh, second type of people will be like me who have jailbroken their device long ago and want to do it once again and uh, like to know how to start the first step is installing alt server in your uh, mac computer or windows computer to do that visit altstore.io and that simple three-step process to install it successfully on your computer and the iphone is given on the website itself so they have this particular alt store available the server application available for both mac os and windows also if you have encountered any problems then they have a complete you know a detailed frequently asked questions available on the top of their the first link of their website itself you can tap there and you can simply read all the instructions on how to install this alt store you know if you're a little bit confused with the step-by-step -step process that I have given in this video so the alt store is all about side loading the applications and assigning them on your iphone similar to you know some kind of a developer application like you it is kind of a your own application that you want to test on your iPhone or iPad uh, so with the uh, you know a kind of a trick that alt store actually performs with the Apple developer certificate to obtain the certificate and to sign that particular application on your iPhone so here we are going to do the signing of uncover application of course and as you can see I have downloaded it for my Mac and I have installed it this is the menu that you get from the top right corner and uh, before installing the alt store it is important to install the mail plugin to successfully verify your Mac computer and your iPhone device so there you can see the install mail plugin is the very first step that you're going to do and I have connected my iPhone SE first generation uh, to install this alt store so don't click on that right away we need to install the mail plugin first so after clicking on the install mail plugin you will see the prompt that do you want to install the mail plugin um, so they have also given a detailed instruction uh, that it needs to verify uh, certain information regarding your Apple ID so uh, uh, after that it will prompt you for your system ID and password uh, enter that and it will successfully get installed tap on ok from that menu and then relaunch your mail app or open your mail app this is an important step because just installing is not enough you need to authenticate and allow that particular extension to work with your mail application and the alt server application so open your mail app sorry about the cropped window here so this is the mail app that I'm right now dragging uh, here and there and uh, you need to tap on the mail menu and then select preferences and then go to the general tab and at the bottom here it is cropped again I'm sorry about that and uh, there you can click on manage plugins button uh, to you know to access the alt store plugin that you have installed recently by default it will be empty unless if you have installed any other uh, plugins so do the check mark and then apply and restart mail app so that's all so I have performed it already so as you can see the alt store is successfully running on my uh, Mac computer so after that uh, we are going to proceed with the installation process so the un, you know installing the alt store on our iPhone SE as you can see when I tap on the iPhone SE it prompts for the Apple ID and password uh, it, it is kind of a tricky process you know where I was a bit afraid about you know giving my Apple ID and password but they have clearly mentioned in the alt store website that um, uh, they are not going to send it to any other third-party uh, companies or website services uh, and they have made 
made the code complete open source and available in uh, GitHub where developers and uh, other people can easily access and uh, verify that. So here you need to enter your Apple ID and password and I have changed my password to something, you know, dummy password for this testing purpose. And I have uh, created, uh, you know, alternatively, you can create a temporary you know, Apple account. And remember that in your iPhone or iPad, there is a limitation that you can create only maximum of three Apple IDs. So unless, you know, otherwise you need to use your existing Apple ID on that particular device. So don't create an Apple ID on your iOS device just for this purpose. So after authenticating with your Apple ID and password, you will be seeing that Alt Store is successfully installed as a developer software on your iPhone. I also have test flight installed, but it is a different story. So as you can see, the Alt Store is installed and it is still not good to go. So as you can see that the untrusted developer, uh, you know, the prompt will be open uh, when you try to open the Alt Store app. So go to settings, general and scroll to the bottom and select profiles and device management. And there you will see the developer application, which is untrusted. As I have beta profile installed, it is also always trusted. Uh, it is from Apple, of course. So here you need to select that particular uh, application, you know, from the developer and you need to tap on the trust. Um, so that is all that's how you actually complete the you know the verification process with the alt server application i'm sorry the alt store application on your iphone so now you can go to your uh, second page you know for here uh, for me the second page of the iphone home screen and uh, let me go there and tap on the alt store and now it opens so as you can see i'm allowing the notification like if there is an important pop-up i don't want to miss it uh, this is the list of applications you know the temporary application that they display on their alt store app uh, these are the side loading uh, you know how it actually works and what is side loading um, everything is displayed here you know and the next thing is we are going to install the uncover without any delay uh, it is the jailbreak service like the version right now I'm trying is five and uh, uh, in future they will be keep on you know progressing and fixing several bugs and issues uh, so five point uh, some other version will come out eventually and as you can see the iOS 11 up to iOS 13.5 5 is compatible with this jailbreak tool and for this uh, they have also instructed to install the alt store primarily to successfully download it and in this website due to the high traffic i'm going to uh, access their github page where the open source code of the uh, uncover 5.0 version is right now available so i have opened it there the github official page of uncover pound to owned uh, there they have released the 5.0 and click on the assets at the bottom of the page and you can select the uncover to download it a little bit faster directly from the github page you know instead of downloading it from uncover if you notice any speed issues you can do that do that from the github otherwise you can do it from the uncover website itself don't try to download it from any other third party websites it definitely be a big security risk you might bring in a malware or spyware you know uh, to your iphone so after downloading it tap on the magnifying glass and you will be taken to the files folder the downloads folder and here you need to haptic touch that particular file to and then click on share and then uh, select copy to alt store to transfer that particular uncover file to your alt store to sideload that uncover so here you need to authenticate with your apple id and password to generate a developer certificate to allow that application to be used with your iphone uh, so the apple you know has this sort of some kind of uh, loophole which alt store takes advantage of and apple cannot cancel it because uh, they need to use it in order to you know let developers use this feature uh, to let users use this feature so by default you uh, once the authentication is completed you will be seeing that seven days has been set as a signing uh, limitation the expiration uh, period for that particular uncover app that is side loaded right now on your iPhone so totally uh, you know you can uh, side load three applications by default and another important thing is we are going to automate this process you know otherwise we need to manually do the signing in process every time every seven days once with the help of an application called reprovision uh, which is also instructed by the uncover uh, developer website uh, we, we are going to uh, do that process next and uh, you know once it's side loaded uh, tap on that particular seven days icon and it will begin to install the uncover on your iPhone um, so uh, after that and give some time uh, you know to let the uncover app side load on your iPhone and in this process if you are getting any error you know with the alt store 
before or with the uncover i will leave a link to that ready discussion where you can uh, discuss anything you can first search uh, for existing problems uh, the question and answers uh, and if you're not finding any answer then you can add your screenshot and you can ask question with the jailbreak community it is the best place to discuss anything about the jailbreak and uh, you to get answers you know uh, f- uh, properly and quickly from our fellow jailbreak uh, users who have tried and jailbroken their ios devices so i'll leave a link to that jailbreak community in the link uh, description of this video and there you can open the uncover after completing the side load process so totally it will take 0 to 32 steps in order to successfully jailbreak your iphone and uh, this particular jailbreak is sponsored by the everything apple pro rebel phone rebel case um, so they have actually sponsored the uncover team uh, in order to you know successfully make this particular uh, happen the z- to find the zero day exploit and not report it to apple and to make this uh, possible to uh, make the semi untethered jailbreak possible so uh, you will be seeing a pop up ad once the jailbreak is done about the phone rebel case if you are in us you can order one and you can get it there so as you can see after clicking on the jailbreak i'm uh, right now the process have begun and uh, it is starting to jailbreak the iphone se first generation um, and the bootstrapping process have begun and it will take less than a minute usually you know more it, it it doesn't take more than a minute as far as i know uh, less than a minute and complete the process and you will be seeing the rebel case um, the advertisement um to support the developers you can of course purchase that particular case and uh, as you can see the jailbreak completed no errors have occurred if there are any errors it will be displayed to you so after tapping on okay the phone will restart for once and uh, you need to wait for it as you have uh, i think you might have noticed the cdia application uh, next to the uncover you know that is the main purpose like after bringing the cdia inside you will be able to install the all the customizations enable the repositories and everything on your iphone um so next to that the uncover app we are getting cdia so the important thing is before doing any customizations you need to enable the automation process of um you know the reprovision where you need to sign uh, the uncover app and sideload the uncover app and sign all to store on your iphone automatically so to do that you need to uh, add one important repository as per the uncover uh, jailbreak website uh, you need to tap on edit and then click on add from the repositories page and sources page and then uh, enter repo. Dot insendo.ws i will leave a link to that uh, tutorial also in the description of this video and then click on add source and wait for the source to be added the list of packages to be updated if you have used linux before you might be familiar with these steps you know adding repositories and browsing through the packages the third party developer packages and applications so each of these repositories will bring their own set of applications that can be installed on a jailbroken ios device these applications will not be available on app store as they are not following any guidelines as per the apple uh, you know set guidelines so the thing is here um, we need to once installed that particular reprovision we need to do the springboard restart and then uh, you can see uh, the reprovision has been installed so all the necessary four applications are here and uh, to do that an important thing is after opening reprovision you will see uh, you need to uh, ent- you know bring this particular uncover app to the reprovision app uh, to make this auto signing process possible so uh, after selecting the chat sheet you know bringing the chat sheet Uh, just like in the first step sorry second step uh, similar to that we are going to uh, copy that particular file to the reprovision as you can see uh, it is recently signed so it will also maintain you know entire process of signing that particular application uh, to help you from automatically renew that signing process you know without your manual intervention so there you can see automatically resign re- sorry resign one day before that particular uh, date okay so you don't need to do everything manually here after it is quite a time saving and uh, to maintain the jailbreak on your iphone this will be definitely an effective process so here you can see the cdia is loading perfectly fine and you can add as many repositories as you want and i will also add a link to the repository search directory uh, for you to make the entire process easier so if you're new to jailbreak as you can see the featured jailbreak custom tweaks and everything are shown here the themes that you can install the tweaks that you can download and install 
install you know to redecorate your default ios home screen you can do all these of course these can bring in so many bugs and you know errors to your iphone some tweaks and customizations could cause battery stability issues uncover promises that their default application is 100 percent stable with the iphone or ipad battery performance but they cannot promise that each application that the third-party repositories bring in can be the uh, you know of the same uh, performance tuned so i will leave the link to that ios hyphen repo hyphen updates.com where you can search and find a ton of uh, you know the third-party repositories to bring in customizations in the way you want themes tweaks and you know so many shortcuts that you can add to your lock screen on home screen everything can be done you know from these repositories as you can see the well categorized menu uh, gives you an idea like for the if you want to do any uh, messaging related application tweaks you can uh, browse there you can if you want to download any third party ringtones and configure it straight to your settings sounds and haptics you can download it from there so simply you know it contains of all the categories and collection of applications and tweaks for you to try on so right now my screen springboard actually crashed for some you know bugs that i have recently installed a tweak and it made the springboard to crash so this happens you know the purpose of jailbreaking is to discover you know all the possibilities and uh, understand how the system actually works it is like using linux so you cannot complain if there are any errors and if you don't want to you know face any errors or any system stability related issues then you don't have to do the jailbreak um, so the process of uninstalling it is that is an option to you know remove the jailbreak within the cdia app itself where you can install root fs uh, repository uh, i'm sorry the tweak and the other option which i personally recommend is um, to do the clean installation or ios restore from your itunes uh, uh, if you're using windows and if you're using mac computer open the finder app connect your iphone and then perform restore iphone to successfully restore the latest ios software with your iphone if you don't want the jailbreak to be stayed on your device so that is all i hope you have found this video useful and if you find it useful don't forget to share it with your friends at twitter and facebook thanks for watching have a wonderful day